back this stairs along this road is a free park oh, one kilometer over really one million, million years, years ago, ago was the sea <laughs> in, uh, in the hill mm -hmm. the, you can um, you can see us also right there okay. um, some fish There's fossil po the bones oh, wow. yes. oh wow no no in front in front you are back when a very strong man <laughs> uh, you can uh, do uh, you can swim yeah. or see the fish uh, uh, during uh, uh, three hour and a half when you can see the volcano stromboli is in Sicily oh. is a volcano active and you can see it from you here? can see volcano and the island oh. yes our host Giuseppe what a guy first of all he has provided one of the best Airbnbs I think we've ever been in but that's not it. Our first day, he says, I've got to give you a tour of the town so you get a lay of the land. So as evidenced by the video that I'm showing you in the backdrop here, he took us around the whole uh, perimeter and the interior of Tropia. Great little trip. Now we're back. We're going to have ourselves a little snack. There's a little grocery store here that's like 10 minutes walk. We got ourselves some meats. We got her some fresh bread. We got some marinated olives, gonna have a little snack. We got some pints going on the drunk tours. Mm. We're happy to be so far. We're walking down to Tropia, the town. It's going to take us about five, seven minutes, and 7:15 is when sunset is. So we're hoping to see an amazing one. So let's go. We miss the treasure, the pot of gold. Our people too numb to take the time to look at the gem that's in the. DT snagged us this great seat on this patio overlooking the sunset. A must do in Tropia. That was lovely. We got Antonio as our, our leader, and we're about to have some Avril Spritz and watch the sun go down. Perfect ending to a perfect day. The smell of wildflowers, the dance of old trees. I feel the rays, they're here for me. Yeah. Perfect. The only place in Trapia to watch the sunset and get a good Avro Spritz. See, Avro Spritz, see. Mm. Oh, picante. Spice. Oh. oh, we would like that. This is spicy. Oh, you smell? Yes, yeah, see, see. So anyway, when you want to watch the sunset at Trapia, come to <coughs> Delhi Soul. Deli, what the hell's the name of this place? I'll write it right there. I gotta, I gotta pay the bill. Oh, this is gonna be great. I'm trying. How do you say the number? Uh, uh, name? Here. I'm gonna try this spicy shit. See what happens. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Don't sleep through the day. Don't let it pass you by Why don't you take the time And look at the open sky Eggplant parmesan
vision. We have been very pleased with this place. We stumbled upon it. I said, DT's wife, we're going to find the first place in a small alley out of the tourist setting. I mean, it's all tourism here, but looks like a lot of locals. We went with the Pizza de Calabresi. The meat is Nuja, which is kind of a, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I, I'm trying to sound like I do, which is a spicy uh, meat. But the star of the show is we got DT's wife suggested we get the fried onions which this area is known for is a red onions they are sweet oh the flavor profile it add those to the the pizza the pizza is very understated because they don't use too much sauce they don't use too much uh, cheese and the crust isn't too thick it is just the perfect balance just like italy is it's a perfect balanced holiday it's got everything we love all uh, right sharpen up now and uh, the house wine that's all you need to order eighteen dollars mina de casa fantastic Popular drink here in uh, Tropia is a Negroni. It's all booze, but that's a drunk and turtle. Pretty good. I'm gonna be Aspetta che muta, un momento, alla tua voce, ma corta da chiante, ma ora che mi apriste il braccio! I'm telling you, you want to crest it in the coffee in the morning, that's the place to go. I don't know what the gentleman's name is, but he's entertaining as hell. Super accommodating. A little confusing in there, they're so busy, but great spot you guys go. It's entertaining. It's 
Caprese salad. Oh, caprese salad. And then we went with the tapia onions, fried onions, which are they're famous for all over the world with uh, tuna tartare. So here we are at Lido Azuro restaurant, right on the beach in Tropia. It's a great location. Typically in a spot when you're in a tourist area and you're right on the ocean or in one of the hot spots in town. Oh, perfect. Oh, okay, that looks great. Gotcha. Um, they drive the prices right up and the food is substandard. We haven't found that here. Food anywhere we've gone in a high touristy location has been great. The start of the show here is the tuna tartare with fried onions which are famous for. So good. Okay, so the, the special of the day was pasta bengole with a pistachio cream sauce which they're known for in this area. So it's like the big rigatoni almost with a pesto, um, uh, pistachio pesto, and then your clams. It's awesome. Great little spot called La Dispensa. And I'll tell you, the service was amazing. The food, the vibe, everything. Oh, look at me there. Everything was fantastic. I when, didn't like what they brought, first of all, the, be oh, the beef tartare. I don't eat it. So they brought me beef carpaccio, which was amazing afterwards. I have to say that was a fantastic service that they did. Look, yep, look, look at, at that. It. Isn't that amazing? Yep. They brought it out right away. But look at that charcuterie plate. So we took that home and... There was so much left over. And then they yeah. brought us two more meals afterwards. It was crazy yeah, what yeah, we brought home. Yeah. So this place... Oh, and there's our buddy that we met. He's he was a radiologist a at yeah. the hospital.
talk on. Everybody, I don't know why it goes. They hit. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> so we're we're happy we're happy here at the Capo, just El Capo, right? I guess you know. It's Capo, Capo Vaticano. Capo da da Vaticano. 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 And we have our new friends from Australia. We got Adele. We got Ian. Now I'm gonna land it right on top of Agostino's head. <laughs> Salute. There you go. Oh shit. <laughs> uh, in a beautiful day, you can see the Sicily. The Etna oh. and all the island, uh, the Eolie Islands. Stromboli, Lipari, Vulcano, Panarea, Liguria, Filippo. Agostino says there's a goat in the mountain. Ian sees it. Adele sees it. I don't see it. Oh. Stop drinking. Stop drinking. <laughs> So we just did a three hour tour with Agostino and the name of your company is Agostino? La Boat Exclusive Tour. And we'll yeah. write that right there. Go, sorry. Yes. No, say, say. what do you want to say? Uh, uh, maximum four? No, seven. People? Yeah, see. Si. Six. Oh, six. Six, yes. okay. All right, it was fantastic. I highly recommend it. You'll take it north, three hours north, or south, three hours south. Yes, yeah. Bye. <laughs> Very, very spicy. Oh my. 
Yes. Right away. It's Pachera pasta. So with it's grouper. grouper and, it's grouper and pistachio. Yeah. Green. The grouper makes it really fresh. That's good. I saw DT's wife's pizza. I'm loving my pasta, by the way. Very fresh with the grouper. Not too seafoodish, but the 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 mix of the pistachio and the uh, what else is it in? Pistachio green and uh, grouper. Grouper, yeah, it's fantastic. Um, but I saw DT's wife's pizza and it looks outstanding, so I gotta give this a try. That's amazing. The crust is very thin, not too chewy, but the sauce is the start of the show here. And what is it? Nuja. Nuja. Which is something very special to Calabria, and that really fires it up and adds a little bit of. Woohoo! So just give me an idea on pricing here in Trapia. We just went to the grocery store and we loaded up on all the essentials. Wine, wine, what the hell do you call that again? Abro. Abro. Wine, Abro, Prosecco. Two bags of chips, my God, these truffle chips are to die for. Then you got basil tomato, crazy. Beautiful tomatoes, fresh basil, smoked fish. Swordfish. Swordfish, what do you think? And I paid for this uh, six for the 90 bucks, 100 bucks, 80 bucks. No, no, you're wrong. You're where? 30 euros. 30 euros. No inflation in Italy. No inflation in Italy. Can I do that? Sure. It looks fabulous. They actually use um, real. Mmm. That's the nuja, which is very, very uh, for this area. Um, this is the spicy salami. Um, I think it's going to be amazing. I'm sprinkling a little uh, fresh Parmen Parmesan cheese on my pasta bolognese, which is my go-to when I'm very hungover. Our Aussie friends kept us up late last night. We were two or three bottles of wine deep, and uh, the drunken tourist can't do it anymore. He's he's feeling. It. He's feeling it. So, my go to to uh, feel better is a good pasta bolognese. There's the Teresa Barretta. And he's Barretta, Barretta feeling Port it today. Where have you take away here? How are you feeling today? A hungover. Uh, Seafood grill here. <clears throat> Looks like we've got salmon. What was that again? I think it's um, 
swordfish. Swordfish, potatoes, and um, um, octopus. Octopus. Mm -hmm. Oh, baby shrimp. Yep, Sh fried shrimp. And octopus. And this is um, eggplant. Okay. Oh, that's like a little air and sea. Yeah. All okay. right. So we tried the mixed plate here at Charlie's. Very good. Uh, the, uh, probably the best shrimp that we've had because typically here they serve prawns, which are very much different than shrimp. And actually, when I'm talking about that, I would suggest to you if you've never been to Italy before and you're thinking, oh, seafood, 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 there's a ton of seafood, but it's very different than what you're used to in perhaps uh, coastal towns in the US, uh, Eastern Canada, Western Canada. Um, very different. Very good. But if your taste is accustomed to North American seafood, it might be a little different for you. Anyway, just a thought, observation. Mm -hmm. So I never thought I'd get tired of pasta, and I'm not tired of pasta, but I just thought I'd try something a little different. We're going to Venice tomorrow, probably three days of pasta, although there could be meat, good meats there too, I don't know. But anyway, I'm trying the fried chicken here. I know I'm not Kentucky, but it looked pretty good on the menu. Got some Frida's. Uh, E.T.'s wife got the uh, pasta de mangoli, which is clams and the garlic and butter and oh, parsley looking good. Let's give her a shot. <laughs> One thing that has to be pointed out here at our Airbnb is that the shower has multiple colored strobe lights. Pretty wild. I don't know what these Italians get up to, but check it out. They return the favor. That is the famous Tropea onion. Yes, this is the red famous uh, onion of Tropea. And um, these are the nursery. In this period, start the season of the, of the onion because we plant the seeds. And in one month, we pick up the plants when uh, the plants are 15, 20 centimeters. And we replant by hand all the onion in a harder way in the other fields. Wow. Uh, Look at that soil. Yes, it's, uh, with this characteristic, became very dry the soil, and uh, for this way, this onion is red, crunchy. But another characteristic, the main important characteristic, is that this onion is sweet. It's one of the most sweet onion in the world. Uh, my family worked in this area of Tropea from the uh, 19th century and worked for the noble family of Tropea. Because in the past, all the fields of Tropea were of the noble family. Only in the 1950, my grandfather bought this field and started with this activity. And I decided to restart with this activity in the 2020. Anko is the main important white grape that we have in uh, Calabria. Zivivo is an aromatic grape, very famous in the south of Italy. And uh, usually in the past, it's used only to heat or to make this with wine. With the Calabrese, this red grape, we made the rosé wine. To make the rosé wine, it's possible to use a uh, different method. After a few hours of maturation uh, with the liquid part, the wine became light red, because we made the red wine with the 20% of Calabrese. In fact, this variety is cultivated in the hotter region of the world. It's cultivated, for example, in the region of Napa Valley in California or in Argentina, Chile, South Africa, Australia, New Zealand, Spain, Portugal and also in Sicily and Calabria, French. This tool consists in a uh, blue glass 
with the inside the other free glass with different angles that refrange the sunshine where this way is called the refractometer when we have the pills colorful with the content of sugar inside we pick up pills and we squeeze the pills in this blue glass after we close in this way and we look inside like a binocle in the scale in the right side we read how much sugar we have in the pill if you want to try how much sugar we have 20 20 probably yes it's ready in fact yeah. this uh this great the variety of these uh, olives is uh, the Ottobratica olives. Ottobratica uh, is one of the most famous uh, olives that we have in this area of Calabria. Uh -huh. We harvest the olives with a stick. With this, this stick, we shake the branch, and uh, after this work, the olives go down in the net. After we pick up the net, and we go in another farm with the machine to make the olive oil. We have the long onion, this is small but the form is this, middle bell onion. And the people that in all the part of the world uh, buy this onion read in the tracking from Tropea. <laughs> <laughs> These are the seeds of the onion, it's very important the seed of the onion. From one seed born one onion. And it's very important because uh, here by here, in this way, the variety the black gold of trope. Grazie Marco. We have in the tasting. Like the honey. This is the honey uh, made with the flower of the sulla. Sulla in English on a cycle. It's a plant from the same family of the beans, fava beans, peas. It's a legume. It's a chutney of onion cooked with the vinegar, cloves, dry grapes and cinnamon. Oh, oh. oh. caramelize the onion. Yeah. Pickled onion with lemon and mint. Oh, caponata. Caponata mm. is a um, typical dish from the south of Italy made with uh, tomato, eggplants, olive, pepper uh, and onion. Brian salami, called mm. soppressata. Denduja. And then your cheese and then we have the bread. And they give you a little serving plate. Yep. Cool. All right, good. We're here at Furki. Furki, yes. Furki. Right, Furki. right. Perfect. Furki Winery. And Marco, who has you seen do give us the tour here and, and give us so much information. Yes. It's a wonderful tour, an amazing setting. We're going to have a sunset over here. We're on the top of the hill in Tropia. And Marco, we can't say enough about this. This has been great. And we're tasting all kinds of really Calabrian mm. delicacies. Mm. So thank you. So a few standouts here is, what was that? That was a sausage, right? Made from 80% fat, everything? No, that's the Sicilian um, salami. So, salami, Calabrian, Sicilian, Calabrian, yeah. Calabrian Amazing. Same. The caramelized onion, well, that's our specialties, onions. Then we got the fresh onions. Everything is so amazing. You can tell it's fresh. And they have anything that you like here, you can buy in a little bottle. So we'll probably end up doing that. The cheese is great. And the, and the nuja, which is, uh, very uh, famous in this region too. Gives you a big wacky heat. Great stuff. Are you ready, uh -oh. drunken tourist? Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good scene. Oh, very good, very good. What do you get <laughs> You haven't paid us an appearance, but you <laughs> Sausage. Oh, man. Like Nutella. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, cool. Do you want to taste? See? Uh <laughs> so good. Yes. So, Campania Amica. Yes, a friendly farm. Oh, friend of the farm. Yeah. <laughs> your okay, give us a jersey. Yeah, there you go. I thought I emailed you six months ago. <laughs> and asked you stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Representing Canada, Ireland, England, Scotland, Australia. and Australia. Marco's tour is fantastic. Everybody, really? cheers. Yes. Cheers. Perchy Winery. For key, for key one. Treasure, the pot of gold. Of people to know, to take the time. To look at the gem that's in the sky. Yeah, yeah. You're still wet from the night 
before 